Now, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and another video and this is a bit special video because like you know this is my first voice video and like you can hear my voice. So today's video topic is kind of a bit interesting and it's all about transformers. So as you know, transformers like they can be small, they can be big, but and they transform into car, but is a specific transformer which is which should not transform into that car. I mean like there are many of them, so let's, so let's get into the video. Number one, Drift Autobot from Transformer Age of Interaction. So as you know, Drift is a Japanese is based on a Japanese samurai Autobot who was a former Decepticon. But he rather looks Japanese and like looks really cool. But the vehicle we transform, well, um, it's a Bugatti Veyron, which is kind of a bit embarrassing. But when you go to samurai, where do you think you can think of? Yes, of course, Japan. So when you say World Drift, what do you think of best car? Of course, a Nissan S15 or maybe a Mazda RX-7 or maybe a 180SX Type X but Drift came into the, the movie Triforce Transformer Age of Extinction came in 2014 so we can go with a modern Japanese car and in my opinion I think the R35 GTR suits perfectly to drift. So we're gonna go with the R35 GTR. Okay, so we're back in the garage, so we're gonna customize it. We're gonna not we're gonna not gonna focus on the performance because of course it's not a performance build. So in my opinion, if Drift would be in movie 4, it should be a start GTR and like it should be rather painted, I guess. In blue tone, like this with a bit metallic finish or maybe like a bit of a darker blue yep this one looks perfect i'm gonna go with the metallic finish gonna increase a bit of a brightness and like we're gonna do it gloss it's gonna be single color yep it looks really perfect and it should be stuck it should have been stuck like this so we're gonna make the blue and we're gonna just change its rims so and i guess these look exactly perfect so we're gonna go with the western vsr 165 yep gonna go with it going to full size it and going to paint it i guess metallic white like looks good And so we're gonna do the same for the back side wheels. I mean rims. And there you have it guys, this is what drip should have looked like. Now disclaimer, this is just my opinion, okay? So comment section, chill out, okay? Number 2, Wheeljack. Now as you know, Wheeljack was in the third part of the movie, also known as Q. And like, originally Wheeljack is transformed in the generation 1 cartoon of course, into Lancia Stratos. But, in the dark of the moon movie, I mean, it is no longer a real jack. It looks like a freaking old robot and like it's really scares children. So as we will, Lancia is an Italian company and Stratus was an old Riley gym, so we'll go with something Italian and probably something really sick. So Italian. A few seconds later. Now we can obviously obviously go with the Lamborghini Hurricane, but like it did not came during the time of the movie, so we're gonna do something else. We can go with the Ferrari Italia's 2009 model, but it was already used by another Autobot named Mirage or Dino as called in the movie. And oh man, there's so many choices, I don't know what to choose.
Not gonna lie, the apple actually looks good. But then like it's really old car. I think I'm going to go with the Diablo because it looks good and like it's really aggressive. Okay, so we're back in the garage once again and we're still going to customize it because like paintings come bad so like we're gonna paint it later, first we're gonna customize it so front bumpers. Um I'm gonna leave them stock splitter. I'm gonna go with the Lamborghini one because it kind of looks good in the front, so yeah. Then hood. No. Let's go with the fenders, so. Speed hunters one look good. The Lamborghini one also looks good, but then like it takes away the pop-up headlights, which is the like real great thing of this car. So I'm gonna go with the Speed Hunters one. A few moments later. So this is my Diablo. It's behind the rally space back of wheels. That so we're gonna to paint it white. We're going to make it gloss. Um, non-metallic. Okay, looks fine. Then we're going to add decals. So. According to the original G1, Wheeljack was based on the rally, famous rally livery of Alitalia, so I guess I'm going to make something same in spite of that. So, uh, we're going to do it like this. We're going to keep it. Rotate it. I'm going to make it even more big. No, so I was actually not able to make the Louis, so actually, I find one which actually feels kind of bit of suitable because, like. But the Lancia Stratos, it has the Altali livery, but it has the color of the Italian flag, so it looks really good. I mean, like, it's just my opinion, like, it's up to you guys, so... Please, don't be hateful against me in the comments, it's just an opinion video, okay? Chill out. And, um, like, of course you see the pop, those pop-ups, which is the most coolest thing of this car. I'm going to just start it for you again. There you guys. Number 3. Somewhere from the dark moon. Now, I guess like many people are going to disagree with me because like some wave like he's the Decepticon and like, he's really big and he's really evil. Like some will, will may disagree with my opinion like the SLS AMG looks kind of bad when it transforms but like it is a good looking car but like as well Decepticon is not that much aggressive looking. So in my opinion, um, let me just check a minute. Some which should have been a um, Lamborghini Marshalago SV. I mean, like, you may ask why? I mean, look at that front end, look at those headlamps, it's so freaking aggressive, what else you want? So, we're gonna take the Marshalago. Okay, we're back in the garage again, we're going to go to customization. So, in my opinion, no, I think I'm gonna paint it first, so. Decepticons, you are evil, and like to depict them, a good paint can be either red, um, kind of black texture, or maybe a bit of silver. Uh, I think I'm go to go with the gray metallic shade and increase redness. Yes, exactly what I was looking for. So we're gonna do this. Then we're going to change the color of headlamps. We're going to make 
it look purple because it because why not? It's make it look even more evil. And there you have it guys, sound wave which should be a um, Lamborghini much larger like this. But like, honestly no hit for the SLS AMG, it's just like it kind of not matches the character because like it doesn't look that much aggressive in my opinion. In my opinion, the much larger looks more aggressive because of that front end like and those angular eyes of it. So yeah. Number four, hard rock from the Age of Extinction. So hard rock. Um as the name suggests, what do you think? Maybe a muscle car or an old cube hard rod, but you know what? Transformer Michael Bay crew was like, you know what, we're gonna give the Lamborghini Centenario, so like, in my opinion, it's pretty wrong. So, we're gonna do something else. As the name says, hard rod, so we're gonna, of course, the car has to be a V8. And like, in my opinion, Mustang also look good, but then like, the credit of Mustang has to go to Barricade because like he looks really sick. And Bumblebee is already a muscle car which is Chevy Camaro so I think I'm going to go with, with the Dodge Challenger SRT18 because it is also a really good car and like it's really look good if Hardware would have transformed into a Challenger. So we're back at the garage once again we're gonna start with the body work. So in body work. I think I'm gonna go with the Dodge bumper because it looks kind of great. Um, my opinion, hard rod, you need to have a really big hope scoop. Hold scoop, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this because it's hard rod. So. Yeah, this is the body work and for the wrap I have just downloaded the wrap which looks really good and There you have it This is how the hard rod should have looked like I mean like it's just my opinion because I thought like It's a hard rod and the flames level are gonna look really good which honestly not gonna lie it does look really good So yeah This is the hard rod how it should Look, so again, once again, disclaimer, this is just my opinion, okay? The move is already made, I cannot do anything about it. So yeah. Well, it looks like you guys have come to the end of the video, I hope you like it. But then like, don't mind my English because I kind of suck at speaking English. Because, and please subscribe to the channel and please comment down if you want to any improve my video ways I can improve my video or even like my speaking skills. So please, subscribe to the channel and please. Don't hesitate to comment. So, gonna see you in the next video. Peace!